guys, it's Jessie. Today I'm sharing my August book haul with you. Actually not very big, so I'm pretty impressed. And most of these I either won or was given. I've only bought two of them. So I'm just going to dive right in and share what I picked up over the month of August. The first one I picked up was After You by Jojo Moyes, and I picked this up at Costco right before I left for Rio, and I haven't opened it up. I've heard mixed things about this, but I'm definitely interested to see what happens after the Me Before You novel, and I know I'm going to be curling up with this sometime this fall with blankets, a fire, and all of that jazz, and just ball my eyes out, but I'm excited for it and can't wait to get to it. Then I bought It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, and I just did a review about this yesterday, I believe, so I will leave that linked below so that you can check it out. This was a very highly anticipated read, especially for the month, so I had it pre-ordered and delivered the day it came out, and I jumped straight into it and read it fairly quickly, and I just loved it. It was powerful and emotional and just a beautiful story, and I really recommend this to you. You guys, I totally lied. I bought three books this month. I purchased The Muse when we were in Miami heading to Rio, and I was just totally bored out of my mind. We were there for seven hours in this airport, and I found two bookstores inside of that airport, and I fell in love with this cover, so I picked it up. It's absolutely gorgeous. It sounds pretty great, too. It is about these two girls who are interconnected, even though that they're, you know, quite a few years apart. So one is taking place in the 60s, I believe, and one's down in the 30s, and they're connected through this, like, painting or this art world, and so it sounds really interesting, definitely a cover buy, and I look forward to getting into this as well, and yeah, I'm excited for it. The next four were all sent to me, and I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of the, either the author or the publishers, um, because I'm really thrilled to have all of these in my hands and dive into them, and let's go! The next one is The Writer's Room by Justin Davila, I believe. I'm sorry if I butchered your last name, Justin, but this is a poetry book, and he actually had found my review on Milk and Honey, so if you haven't watched that or read it, I will link that below. You definitely should. I am obsessed with it, and asked if I would do a review of his poetry book as well. I am thrilled. I am just starting to dabble in poetry, and I so far have loved everything that I've just kind of flipped through or read on his Instagram. So I'm looking forward to diving into this very soon. Thanks, Justin. And for a lot of my book scaram friends, you of course should know Crime by the Book, and she was hosting a giveaway not too long ago for Good As Gone by Amy Gentry, and I won, and I am stoked. I have had some really good giveaway juju lately, and this one is a suspense novel, and as fall sets in, like I said, I one was going to cry myself with uh, with After You, and mostly what I'm looking for during the fall is a long list of thrillers. I have apparently not been in the mood for them lately, so they are just sitting on my, my um, TBR shelf, and as I dwindle those down, all that's left are these. So I think I'm going to have a fantastic fall read of a bunch of thrillers and suspense, and this is definitely at the top of my list to get to. I've heard it was pretty fantastic, so thank you, Crime by the Book, and if you haven't followed her yet, definitely check her out. Her link is below. All right, the next one is in this awesome little package. It was sent to me by the author, so I'm going to kind of share that um, first and kind of show you the package itself. And this is a book called Keep Her, and it is by Leora Krieger. Krieger? Sorry if I butchered that. Um, but it came packaged so adorably, so her little Facebook um, page there, this cute little um, I don't even know what you want to call it, but a little pouch thing, and it's awesome. Then as you unzip it, we have a little notebook and arrow things, and then, let's see if I can get it out of here. Alright, and the book. And it is so pretty. And there's even a little note in here, and of course some information on the book as well. Mm -hmm. And the note is so cute and totally matching, and it says, Jesse, hope you enjoy best. And I love that there's a little whale stamp at the top. So again, the packaging of these things is so unique and awesome, and each one that I've gotten that's kind of been over the top like this is just so much cooler, and I totally admire and adore it. 
So thank you so much to Leora for sending this my way. I can't wait to jump into this. Um, one thing that really caught my attention besides the cover was I saw a little bit of um, snippets kind of being released. It is about this girl and she is an artist and uses photographs to create these like artwork pieces. And as most of you know, I am a photographer myself. So I was immediately hooked and felt like I needed to read this just because you don't get a lot of that. So I am definitely interested in the storyline and how it all weaves together and her and this guy come to work and they are doing um, some kind of awareness and have a mission to save these endangered whales. Thank you, Leora, for sending this my way. I can't wait to jump in. The last book that I have to share with you is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch and I won this through another Instagram giveaway from Muse Monthly and they sound like they have the coolest subscription box with books and teas and other really amazing things. I definitely need to order one one of these days but I wanted to thank Muse Monthly for the awesome giveaway. I had seen this all over Instagram and couldn't wait to get my hands on a copy so when I won I totally freaked out and when I got home from Rio it was waiting for me and it's beautiful and again this is gonna be another one of those thrillers that is on my TBR for this fall if you read it let me know what you thought cuz I am dying to get to this alright short and sweet and I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video and I just can't wait let me know what you picked up this month and which one you're most excited for I think I am most excited for honestly the poetry book. Like I said, I'm just diving in so I can't wait to read something else and just kind of expand that area of my little collection. So yes, I will see you guys soon. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you, Lori. The last book during... Well...